The forest sings with the seeds of change, but it also cries out in pain. Our new friends, the Drani, are here to help us, like you. We must put an end to the destruction of my brother and sister trees before all is lost and Ashenval is no more. While what the Satyrs have done to the trees is horrible, nothing compares to the mass slaughter that the Orcs have been engaging in. The Ancient shakes with visible rage, his leaves falling all around you. Night Elf, I would have you head across the road here at the Lumber Camp and recover the remains of those trees, treants, and Ancients that the Horde have hewn down in their prime. Quest Objective The Forest Sing but little one, to the southwest is an area of night song woods that has in recent times come to be called Felfire Hill. It is very sad to see the demons crawling over it, spreading their corruption. Would you do something to help take back the land? I have a number of seeds that I have been saving for such a purpose. Take them to Felfire Hill and plant them in the fertile dirt mounds. Quest Objectives Plant eight tree seedlings in the fertile dirt mounds. The Warsong Lumber Camp is a blight upon an embattled landscape. Every time we make progress in halting their operations, Overseer Gortok orders his loggers to redouble their efforts. Now, the orcs are cutting more wood than they can possibly use, leaving it to rot while their blades bite into fresh trees. This is an affront to all we stand for, Munzi, and we will show them that we'll not suffer further destruction of our lands. Go, and do not rest until Overseer Gortok and his minions are dead. I will not tolerate their existence on this world. The Burning Legion all but destroyed our race and we fell back to settle a new home on a new world. Then they came again and we retreated, over and over. No more. There is a remnant of the Legion to the south and west in the regions known as Fellfire Hill, Demon Fall Canyon and Demon Fall Ridge. They are what is left over from a force that once long ago invaded this world. Go and destroy as many as you can before it is too late. Song Grant says. Attempts to run away in fear. Warsong Logger says, attempts to run away in fear. Warsong Shaman says, attempts to run away in fear.
War Song Logger says. Attempts to run away in fear. War Song Grant says, attempts to run away in fear. War Song Shaman says, attempts to run away in fear. War Song Grant says, attempts to run away in fear. Cut down the forest. Flush the elves out.
At last we have sent a message that the orcs won't dare ignore. At last we have sent a message that the orcs won't dare ignore. I hate to send you back in there, but based on your description of what's going on, we can't let them use all of those explosives they have stored at Guard Pinnacle. It's too dangerous for you to try to destroy them yourself, but if you were to steal one of their shredders, I'm sure they are tough enough to withstand the explosions. After you've destroyed their explosives, return here with the shredder. There's no sense in letting them have it back. The forest sings with the seeds of change. Have you the remains, little one? I have lived a very long time in peace with the forest, but what these orc things are doing makes me want to feed them back to the ground. I will put this wood to rest now. Thank you for this kindness, Munzi. I will never forget. Warsong Nova says. Attempts to run away in fear. I saw those explosions all of the way from over here. Those filthy orcs and their goblin lackeys are going to have a hard time doing anything to despoil the forest now. We can't thank you enough, Munzi. Will this do? Roaming Felguard says, goes in.
The demon dropped this parchment, which is amazingly written in the common tongue. The ones mentioned in it, Diathorus and Gorgonon, are the two infamous dread lords that control the demons hereabouts. The plans detail preparations for a demonic attack on Forest Song to the north, the location where a new Drania settlement is being established. Perhaps Vindicator Veda are at the Warsong Lumber Camp would be interested in these? Night Song Box is under attack. Through the ground I can feel more demons being brought into our world. Soon there will be too many and we will be overrun without hope of turning them back. Through the ground I can feel more demons being brought into our world. Soon there will be too many and we will be overrun without hope of turning them back.
Take this piece of me and return to Demon Fall Canyon and Demon Fall Ridge, south of Fellfire Hill. Aim the bow at a demon gate and concentrate. I have stored a portion of the forest's life force in its wood, and it will close the gate. Can you feel the evil all around us, warrior? By the hand, it must be cleansed. The demons destroyed our home world, Argus. I will not countenance their presence here on our new home, as Roth. What do you have there, ma'am? By the seven crystals of Adamal, this cannot be. They plan to attack Forest Song. Not on my watch. Vindicator Veda R crumples the demon scrawled plans in his fist. No. We will not allow this to happen. Monzi, it falls to you to see that this attack by the Burning Legion never comes to pass. You must go and slay their leaders. Without them the demons will be mindless. You will find Gorgonon in Demon Fall Canyon south beyond Fellfire Hill, near Manarathas floating, Broken Spear. Diathorus the Seeker resides somewhere in the Barrow Den atop Demon Fall Ridge. To find the ridge, look for a Rampart Guard pinnacle from Demon Fall Canyon near the Horde's monument to Grom Hellscream. Bring me their weapons. Can you feel the evil all around us? You have my respect and thanks, warrior. Perhaps we'll be able to create a new home here without having to worry about the Burning Legion yet again. May your days be long.
Gorgon and Sid. Calls for help. Rune Felgard says, goes into a frenzy.
Dite Horus the Seeker says. Calls for help. With their gates closed and no further reinforcements coming, it is only a matter of time now before the demons are no more. You are a heroine of the forest, Munzi. I give you thanks on behalf of all of Ashenvale's creatures. Now that the demon gates have been destroyed, the power of the forest must be replenished. The forest heart must be retrieved. Gavin Shadewalker, a powerful druid of the claw, has gone southwest past Felfire Hill, to the Dordanal Barrow Den. Therein rests the forest heart. It is protected by the druids of Ashenvale deep below the ground. Seek out Gavin and tell him of what has transpired, Munzi. Our night elf scouts report that preparations for the attack are almost complete. Those dreadlords must die soon, Munzi. Never again will the Burning Legion threaten Ashenvale. You have delivered us from a fight we very likely would have lost, warrior. I give you thanks, Monzi, and the deepest gratitude of the Hand of Argus. It honors me to have you at our side. Splinter Tree Post is under attack.
Warsong Lumber Camp is under attack. You are brave to come here, warrior, but you may be too late. All of the druids are either dead or have been driven insane. Still, your tale is intriguing, and if what you say is true, then Narl must have the forest heart and soon, or Ashenvale will begin to wither. We must put an end to the corruption permeating Ashenvale. The druids are dead, killed by their leaders who were driven insane by the horde tainting the forest heart. I can feel the corruption even from here and I dare go no further. While I am too well attuned to Ashenvale and the Forest Heart, you. You could descend into the Barrow Den and do what must be done. I've laid down breadcrumbs for you in there. Though it tears me apart, I must ask that you put to rest the Druids once great leaders, Tenil Darkwood, Uthal Mooncall, and Mavoris Clouds Break. We must put an end to the corruption. You must get the Forest Heart to Narl at all costs. Down at the bottom of the Dordanal Barrow Den it sits, corrupted by the Horde. Only Narl can cleanse it. In order to move it, though, you'll need a power of nature. If you collect enough untainted spirits from the severed druids and keepers, the spirits can be combined into a power of nature. Good luck, Monzi. Welcome, friend, welcome. There's always room for one more. Into tree post is under attack.
My name's Athiel. We're going to be such good friends once you're dead. You're going to be so nice and warm down here with us forever, beautiful. Rest in peace, my friends. You can see the sorrow in the druid cat's eyes. I felt the anguish of the Dordanal Barrow's lesson, and knew that you had completed your task. It was grim work that you did, Monzi, for the spirits you destroyed were merely victims of the Horde's evil. But with their destruction, let us hope the maddened spirits will finally find peace. Oh, my God. 
Ruining Felgard says. Goes into a frenzy. Munzi, you have returned. The forest hot. It's corrupted. The great ancient creaks as its immense limbs begin to perform a ritual. Stand back, Munzi, I will try to cleanse the heart before all is lost. Stand back, Munzi. I must cleanse the forest heart. The forest heart is now purified. Its power will replenish Ashen Vale once more. We are forever in your debt, young one. Auction house, there you are, Monzi. I've pored over the notes Teronis has made and it sounds like your next course of action is to find the other pieces of Dartle's rod. I would start by heading east along the road to Rainwood Tower. A dryad there named Chahul Dryn is better suited to guide you. Seek her out. Keep the gem with you Chahul Dryn will need it if she's to help you recreate the rod. Monzi, is that you? Have you returned with the cure for Rilara? Oh, Monzi, you have saved my daughter. I know the power of the Moonstones will give back my daughter her strength. I can never repay you fully for the aid you have given me, but... Please, take this. Other than Rilara, it is my most dear possession. Peltra's white moon says. Crushes the Moonstones into a cup of tea. Here you are, Rilara. Drink this. MMH. My eyes are not so heavy now, father. Can we go out and play? Relera. You're awake. Rest now, my daughter. Peltra's white moon says. Looks at Munzi, and then weeps with joy. Relera is saved, Munzi. Thank you. You bow before Peltura's white moon.
Hello. How are you? Oh, Reen sent you. It must be serious indeed. What can I help you with? Hello. Oh, Reen sent you. I wish your tidings were better. Reen is correct, I know about Dartle's creation and the treants in the area at least I did once. They've become corrupted now, their nature twisted. To find the next piece of the rod, you'll have to find the key to open the chest it's in. The wooden key is on one of the treants northeast of here near the Fellwood border, at the Howling Vale. Once you have it, look for a small glade through the tunnel at the Vale. The chest should be hidden around there. Tofu Shkag.
It upsets me so that the Treants have become corrupt. I wish I could do more to help them. I'm pleased to see you're back, Monzi. The last piece of the rod is held by Druids of the Claw. I asked their leader, Oso Bramblescar, to give it to me, but he and his guardians nearly killed me. Clearly they too were affected by the Horde's corruption of the Forest Heart. But, I have an idea for how you can get into Oso's cave and grab the pommel. Ever since I was a fawn, I've been pretty good at playing possum. It works great against bears. I can teach you. Go east to the shady nook, and if they try to get you, just use my technique. Playing possum is super easy, Munzi. Just watch. That wasn't hard, was it? You will have no problem fooling stinky old Oso Bramblepaw and his guardians now. You laugh. Did you find the final piece of the rod, Monzi? How did my technique work? You got it. Wonderful for you. And for Reen. I guess we'll have to- Did you find the final piece of the rod? You got it. Wonderful for you. And for Reen. I guess we'll have to see about reassembling it, won't we? I suggest you find Reen and let her know the rod is finished. I'm sure she'll know what your next course should be. Be careful. I sense a great deal of power within it for both good and ill. I hope that you and Reen know what you are doing. Good luck, Monzi. The rod's design is simple. Dartol didn't use his arcane knowledge in its creation. It is more druidic in nature. Hee <laughs> hee. 
I made a pun, didn't I? Druidic in nature. I'm so funny. Now, then. The rod. Let's see about putting it back together, shall we? I am honored. Yes, Monzi. How go your efforts? You've recreated the rod Teroni's had set out to find? That's wonderful to hear. Shaul Dryn has been indispensable in her assistance. Teronis would be proud to see his quest is continuing even after his tragic passing. Reen looks over the reconstructed rod with a look of approval and thoughts racing behind her eyes. Now it is time for us to make use of its power to eliminate the enemies of Ashen Vale. I'm not completely certain what Teronis had in mind next, but if what he said was true about the rod's power, then it will allow you to take on another form altogether, presumably that of a Firbolg. Perhaps he meant to use its powers to get closer to them, but even the uncorrupted creatures would slaughter him were he not careful. Transformed by the rod, Dartle would have to speak to a Firbolg who was uncorrupted. I would start with one known as Krog. Seek his hut southeast of Mistral Lake. <laughs>